Bear with me this is a long one. My borderline personality disorder mother was literally the definition of I'm better than all of you entitled. She never did the whole let me talk to your manager thing but she would just scream at the top of her lungs and verbally castrate whoever was in her path until she got her way or at least proved she was right. To give you a sense of how awful she was, I had a huge falling out with her about four years ago. I basically asked her to stop being so emotionally and psychologically abusive or I would cut ties. I ended up doing just that, and my mother stole $10,000 worth of furniture from our house and my dog, while leaving the other dog a diabetic to die. She didn't own the house or the furniture, my grandparents did, but they never filed charges for the theft, which I've always sort of held against them. My mother also stole $30,000 from my dad which was supposed to be used for my college, of course she would always say how lucky I am because of how tight money was. She was a very high paid lawyer, she just got off on making me feel guilty. All that being said, when we did live together when I was growing up, I absolutely loved throwing her own entitlement back in her own face every chance I got. She was all bark and no bite so by the time I was 10, I knew any threat she would throw at me was just that and she just liked getting her own way. So one day I think I may have been 14, my mother needed to get gas for her car and she only ever got gas from Sam's Club. For those who don't know, you need a membership card to get gas because you get points, for what I don't know. Groceries maybe. So we pull up to the pump and I'm just sitting and waiting. It always took a while because she would literally wait until her car needle said empty and my mom would have to hope she had enough gas to drive to refill. So, I'm sitting in the passenger seat when I start to hear her saying expletives over and over, going from a loud whisper to almost a yell. I get out and have no choice but to open the can of worms. Me, mom what's wrong? Entitled mother, I can't find my goddamn card. Me, are you sure? Have you looked? Entitled mother, of course I'm sure I'm not a ducking moron. She had a huge wallet and purse with like 50 pockets each and constantly lost things. So after she stood there for like 20 minutes looking everywhere she forces me to go with her inside to customer service and talk to them. For what? I'm not sure, it's not like they could wave magic wand and make it appear, or get her a new one. That was the customer's responsibility. I don't really remember but I think my mom was pissed because she'd lose all her point or whatever if she got a new card. Anyway she marches right up to the counter, by passing all the people behind her. At this point I'm just standing off to the side because I do not want to be associated with whatever is about to go down. My mother exploded at the woman behind the counter saying how it's impossible she could have lost the card. It must have been stolen, she demanded a new card with everything exactly the same blah blah blah. All the people behind her are sort of just staring mouths open, not really believing their eyes. That this woman, screaming and berating this service lady over such a trivial problem. Still off the side, all I'm thinking is, my mom is actually making it this store's fault she lost her card. Good god about 15 minutes into the yelling, I decide to grab my mom's wallet for one last look through. Fine. I'll do it myself. Literally, not even after 30 seconds of searching, I look behind her ID and I find the goddamn card I look at it making sure it's not an expired card and wouldn't why I know. So I walk over and showed my mom the card and go did you mean this card, behind your ID? I say it a little louder than normal just making sure everyone behind her hears. She takes the card gives it a once over, and literally just storms back out to the car. Not one single acknowledgement or apology, so I do it because this lady and the people who waited definitely deserved one. My mom sat in her room the rest of the day, and of course I was never allowed to mention it again, except I did, constantly. I can only begin to imagine the other stories you have. Having a BPD mother can be extremely challenging, based on this story sounds like she more on the disorder than traits side. Yeah she was a gaslighting manipulative nightmare. One time when I was in 5th grade I ended up needing glasses, 
However she refused to take me to the optometrist because she decided I was making it up. It took me convincing my teacher to talk to her before she believed I actually couldn't see. In the end, my grandma got me the glasses. But of course, in mommy dearest memory, that never happened.